much did I drink? At least it's only one this time. Alright, so here is the start of my day. I'm going to leave my 400i parked at Grim and take out this here Avenger. I like to think that this is uh, borrowed from a better funded geographer friend that maybe I've made in, uh, in grad school or something like that. I imagine that geographers in the UEE are better funded than, say, social scientists. So this is me doing a qualifying mission for Ling Family Hauling, which is the Crusader Delivery Mission people. I hadn't noticed until someone pointed out to me in PTU that actually they have added reputation for the various delivery companies in 315. So that's going to be my goal for this patch is to max my rep with all of the delivery companies. There's better money doing other kinds of missions. Like bounty hunting is is your uh, your big money profession or at least it has been in previous patches. Got to give the box a shake, you know, make sure it's well packed. But yeah, I don't imagine it'll take a whole lot of effort to max my rep with all of the delivery companies. Actually, I'm almost all of the way there uh, after just doing it for maybe five or six hours around Crusader. So what I'll do is I'll max my rep uh, with Ling Family Hauling, then I'll move on to maybe Hurston and do some deliveries around there in the next few weeks. down here on yellow deliver this here box oh. uh, wrong direction and that's that just looking around here seeing if there's anything I can steal and oh look so there is not much here but you know free stuff is free stuff this is also sort of a let's call it a secondary objective to doing these delivery missions And there's a little bit of rep there, you can see. Transfer my ill-gotten gains to the ship. You can see I've already gotten some uh, from a another bunker that I was at earlier. Yeah, so I end up taking five delivery missions from Ling Family Hauling, which involve three packages each, right? Two of these missions are pick up three packages at one place and deliver them to three different places. The other three were pick up at three different places and deliver to one final location, whatever. Not that hard to manage, but I imagine it's probably a little bit boring to watch, right? The real attraction in doing these missions is just flying around. Like, look, take put take take put put there's a lot of that so instead I'm just going to give you a bit of a montage of me flying on the route
All right, and so my last box is here at Crew L1, and I figure I might as well stop and have a drink before I head back to Crusader proper. One second, all right? So while I'm waiting for a drink, here's a story that didn't make it to the montage. So I land outside of an outpost on Daymar, but of course I don't really check where I've landed, and when I open up the door, I clip some rocks, I go flying, and my ship spins off in a different direction. I get up, I see that my ship has landed upside down, and uh, yeah, that's really annoying. So I managed to open up the canopy. It's not actually a big problem, I just hopped inside, and then righted the ship, and then got on with the day. But it was, uh, well let's call it, it was a very Star Citizen moment, right? And, oh, uh, Okay, well maybe the real Star Citizen moments were the friends we made along the way. Why are you looking at me like that? Thanks for watching again, folks. Uh, this is me trying to get into the groove of putting out a brief, like, less than 10 minute gameplay video of Star Citizen uh, every week until I can't keep it up anymore. Tomorrow's the start of the IAE over at Microtech, so uh, we'll see if we can't get up to something there for the video next week. Thanks.